In this video, we're going to reveal what Jennifer Aniston eats in a day and give an all things nutrition review. From weird breakfasts to a boring lunch that didn't change in 10 years. Stay tuned to find out my thoughts on it as a registered nutritionist. As one of the world's favourite movie stars, Jennifer Aniston is best known as Rachel Green in the hit comedy series Friends. You hang in there. <laughs> You say something? No, just singing. <laughs> With accolades such as World's Most Beautiful Woman, how does she keep her trim physique? We know that Jennifer loves to practice yoga, but what diet does the friend star follow to stay looking so fabulous? Let's find out. For breakfast, it seems Jennifer likes to mix it up. She told Elle magazine, when I wake up, I have warm lemon water and then I have a shake or avocado and eggs, which is one of my favorites. I sprinkle a little coconut oil on that. Sometimes I'll have a puffed millet cereal with a banana or I'll do oatmeal with an egg white whipped in at the end. So I admire that she mixes it up. But um, what's the deal with egg whites in her oatmeal? Anderson told Elle magazine her now ex-husband Justin Theroux gave her this tip to help boost the protein content in her morning bowl of oats. Apparently she cooks an egg white while her oatmeal is heating up and then whisks it in for a creamy texture and a 4 gram protein boost. Ok sure, it'll add more protein to her bowl of oats but I'm not sure about the taste. I think I will give that one a miss. What do you think? Would you have egg whites with your bowl of oats? Leave a comment below. She told people her usual breakfast shake is I'll put in bananas, cherries, blackberries, a green powder, a collagen peptide, a little cacao powder, chocolate stevia drop and chocolate almond milk, she says. You can see I like chocolate flavoured, I don't like protein taste. So smoothies as a morning meal like the one Jennifer has can be a great way to incorporate more healthy foods in your diet. The bananas, cherries, blackberries will boost Jennifer's consumption of fruit, which provides lots of essential vitamins, minerals, fibre and antioxidants. In fact, the World Health Organization recommends that adults eat at least five servings around 400 grams of fruits and vegetables per day, but most people fall short of this mark. So, if you find you're not eating enough fruits or veggies, a smoothie can be a quick and convenient way to squeeze more nutrients into your diet. So what about the other breakfast choices? Are they a good choice? Let's have a look at the avocados and eggs with a sprinkle of coconut oil. Avocados are a fruit which are high in healthy fats. Yes, you heard me right, avocados are a fruit. Avocado is a fruit of the avocado tree and packed with nutrition and Jennifer will be getting a good dose of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin K, folate, vitamin C, potassium, vitamin B5, vitamin B6 and vitamin E. They are loaded with healthy fats and fibre but still will help keep Jennifer fuller for longer. Having eggs for breakfast is a good way to start the day. Jennifer will be getting a good source of protein from the eggs and vitamins such as vitamin D also known as the sunshine vitamin, as it is the only nutrient your body produces when exposed to sunlight. Getting enough of both vitamin D and calcium is crucial to maintaining bone health. So if you're not getting enough sunshine, it's important to try and get your vitamin D from foods such as eggs. If you want to find out what happens to your body when you eat eggs every day, watch our video to find out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But is a sprinkle of coconut oil good for her? Well, coconut oil has grown in popularity in recent years, with claims that it can do everything from supporting weight loss to slowing down the progression of Alzheimer's disease. In a nutshell, while it might be nice to put on your skin, there is no strong scientific evidence to support health benefits from eating coconut oil. In fact, coconut oil is very high in saturated fat. UK and major international health organisations have concluded that there is a link between high saturated fat intakes, raised blood cholesterol and increased risk of heart disease. So it's definitely not a good thing to be adding it to everything and anything. I don't have time in this video to go into details but watch our video Is Coconut Oil Good For You? to find out. Before we find out what Jennifer has for lunch and dinner, don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to join my community. Let's get to the truth about nutrition together. Now let's dive back in. For lunch, Aniston is all about salads. 
In fact, she ate lunch with her friends, co-stars Courtney Cox and Lisa Kudrow every day for 10 years. And all three ladies ate the same exact thing. The Aniston twist on a classic Cobb salad. Cox told the Los Angeles Times in 2010, it wasn't really a Cobb salad, it was a Cobb salad that Jennifer doctored up with turkey bacon and garbanzo beans and I don't know what. She just has a way with food, which really helps. Because if you're going to eat the same salad every day for 10 years, it better be good salad, right? She may not stick with the Cobb anymore, but salads remain front and centre. Aniston told Elle she eats some form of vegetables or salad with protein, pretty basic. According to People, a lunch favourite is seared ahi tuna with cucumber and lentil salad. Maybe olive oil, she adds. Salads are a good option for lunch, but I don't think I could have the same salad for 10 years. They say variety is the spice of life after all. Let's break down what Jennifer will be getting from the tuna and lentil salad. She will be getting a great source of lean protein and heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids from the tuna. Lentils are quick to prepare and typically good value for money. Lentils are a rich source of nutrition providing protein, fiber and numerous minerals. In fact, some studies have shown that regularly eating lentils reduces the risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, obesity, cancer and heart disease. This is thanks to their rich content of protective plant compounds called phenols. And her gut will also thank her for it. Why? Well, lentils are rich in prebiotic fiber, which promotes digestive function and fuels the beneficial gut bacteria, which are so important for our health. A diet rich in fiber is associated with a number of health benefits, including a reduced risk of colorectal cancer. The olive oil is great to dress salads. It will provide Jennifer a good source of healthy fats and is rich in antioxidants. In fact, research shows olive oil benefits heart health in multiple ways and the evidence that it reduces heart disease and stroke risk is pretty robust. But is it better than coconut oil? Check out our video coconut oil versus olive oil to find out. I'll leave a link in the description below. So this lunch gets a thumbs up from me. What about her snacks? What does she like to munch on? Well, it seems her fridge is always stocked with healthy meal prep staples. She told Yahoo Food she would always have cut raw vegetables in a Tupperware container. Hard boiled eggs are always great to have in the fridge, as well as a big head of butter lettuce. I always include proteins such as pulled chicken. And according to People, for a mid-morning snack, Aniston will grab a hard boiled egg. She says, I'll have one a few hours after my shake. She also told People, if hunger hits before dinner, she'll go for cheese stick or a cup of soup. So it's great that she preps her snacks. It means her healthy snacks like the vegetable sticks, egg and cheese sticks are there for her to grab and go. Vegetables are always a good snack choice. They contain vitamins and minerals and are a good source of fiber. The egg and cheese will give her a good source of protein and help her feel fuller for longer. What does she have for dinner? She told Elle magazine that for dinner, she probably eats the same as lunch, vegetables or salad with protein. However, we know that Jen enjoys the odd bowl of pasta. In the same interview, she said her then husband, Justin Theroux, had reintroduced her to the Italian carb and she learned how to make carbonara. The actress said she makes the dish using egg, parmesan and bacon. Sounds nice. She told people she enjoyed roasted chicken with spiralized zucchini and pesto sauce, or Justin and I make pasta carbonara every couple of weeks. It's good that she doesn't completely cut out carbs from her diet. Some people think that starchy foods are fattening, but gram for gram, they contain fewer than half the calories of fat. Carbohydrates are needed for energy and is fuel for the brain. When it comes to carbohydrates, the key thing is to think about the quality of carbohydrates. Complex carbs like brown rice, sweet potatoes, or quinoa contain starch, but they also contain fiber, calcium, iron, and B vitamins. So it's good to swap your white rice for brown rice every now and again. I go into a lot more detail in my video, quinoa versus rice, which one is better? So check it out if you want to find out more. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now let's sum up with an all things nutrition review. I love that Jennifer doesn't need to do strict cleanses or resets because she sticks to an overall healthy diet all the time. In fact, she told people she used to be stricter when it came to her diet, but now allows herself some breathing room to indulge. Admitting her weakness is salty savory. This is good. 
eating a restricted diet, no matter what the plan, is difficult to sustain. There's no one size fits all solution when it comes to nutrition. The best diet for you is the one you can stick to in the long run. It seems she's definitely getting her vegetables in as well. Something we could all eat more of. It's also good that she doesn't cut out carbs from her diet, but I would love to see more complex carbs, the good ones in her diet, like whole grains, starchy veggies, like sweet potatoes and more fruit. She could add some berries to her very interesting oat egg white concoction or have quinoa or another wholesome grain with her salad, which help her get more nutrition and variety in her diet. The aim of a healthy diet is to eat mostly whole foods with a few treats mixed in to stay sustainable. Eating a well-balanced diet should be more about feeling good rather than looking a certain way or like a certain celebrity. What works for Jen may not work for you and that's okay. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to watch more videos just like this. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you on the next one.